For the next exercise, we'll be using primary colours only. Two reds, two yellows and two blues, a warm and a cold of each colour. We know that red and blue together create purple. However, if both colours are warm, then it will be difficult to make purple. The same applies to the other primary colours we will be using. As beginners, I recommend that you do not mix colours on a palette before painting as this can be confusing for you and your colours will begin to look muddy as you make your inevitable corrections. The object of this exercise is to experience how to create colours by laying one transparent colour on top of another to create a third colour. Therefore, the first colour you apply will not be the one you necessarily end up with. The quality of the colour produced will depend on the amount of water used. Add the colour to the water, you will be surprised how little paint you will need. One colour can be placed on top of another when it is wet, dry or somewhere in between and experimenting with the various saturations is a good prelude to making your painting in the future. With the next exercise, Try to create as many greens, purples and oranges as you can. As you can see I am painting each colour a few times and making columns on my paper. This is so that each combination can be clearly seen and compared. As you can see from this demonstration of the exercise the paint is transparent and very liquid. It is important when making a watercolour that paper can be seen beneath the colour as this gives the colour light and vitality. Once all the columns have been established, the colours can be combined. I will begin by painting the warm yellow, yellow ochre, on top of the other colours to create greens and oranges. When applying the paint, ensure a light touch and gently stroke the paint on the paper. Try to float the liquid on the page, not press the paint into the paper. When trying to create your colours, you may find that one colour overpowers another. To weaken the colour, add more water directly onto this. This will dilute the colour, enabling you to create the colour you require. Blue has a strong pigmentation, so you will need more water, whereas yellow is weaker in its pigmentation. You may find that you need to do this exercise a few times, as you are not only practicing making colour, you are also learning to control the brush and water, and by the time you are finished, you will feel much more confident and ready to begin making a painting in future lessons.